Hey, my name is Jan. I'm a 45 presets consultant. And in today's video, I want to talk about FCLI. So I will give you a short introduction of what FCLI is. When I hop into some really useful uh, and uh, interesting use cases. And at the end, I also provide you some information where you can find more documentation on this. And if this video is interesting for you, I highly recommend check out the other videos on our YouTube channel or consider to subscribing to this channel to don't miss any future video. But with that, let's get right into the introduction. So in general, FCLI, what, what is this? In short, I would say FCLI is a simplified, unified way of interacting with one or multiple Fortify solutions. So as you might know, with Fortify, it's not only one single solution that we have. We have a wide range of different solutions. Uh, for example, we have the Software Security Center, Fortify on Demand, Scan Central SAS, Scan Central DAST, and much, much more. And with each of these individual solutions, we might have um, any kind of interface, APIs, um, any command line tools. And with FCLI, we try to combine everything in one single place. And with FCLI, we just want to make um, your life easier. And personally, I know a lot of customers using FCLI to make their day-to-day -day life much, much easier. And the good thing is it's really widely available on nearly every system. So you can use it on a Mac, Linux, Windows, or just download the Java jar. It's really up to you. And it gives you a lot of different advantages. Here are just two of them. First of all, it's really easy to incorporate into custom scripts or CI CD systems. I will also talk about that in the use case section. And it's really customizable. So there's a built in support for uh, YAML based app actions, which is really, really powerful. But we will also talk about that a little bit later or in another video. And the good thing is, as I said, it supports different solutions. It supports 40 on demand, the software security center, also including the Debrict integration, as well as Scan Central ZAST and Scan Central DAST. Now let's dive into some of the key use cases for FCLI. First of all, the CI CD integration. You probably already know that Fortify provides several out-of-the-box plugins and integrations for popular CI CD tools like Azure DevOps, GitHub Actions or Jenkins. But here's where FCLI stands out. It doesn't matter what CI CD system you're using because FCLI is just a command line tool. That means you can integrate it in almost any CI CD pipeline. And what's great about this approach is that it is consistent and repeatable. So you're not tied to a specific plugin or add on and you can easily copy paste commands from one pipeline to another or even between completely different CI CD systems. The next use case is the cross product integration. This is all about connecting different Fortify solutions from the Fortify ecosystem. So for example, you can list all application versions in your software security center and then create corresponding releases in Fortify on demand. Or you can retrieve scan results from the brick and publish them into the software security center. The third use case is automation workflows. This is a big one because FCLI makes it easy to build workflows that might have been tricky or even impossible to automate in the past. For example, in Fortify On Demand, you can create a Fortify On Demand release, configure the scan settings, run a scan, wait for it to complete and then export the issue data to a third party system. This is actually one of the most common CI CD integration scenarios. And another example, you can also use FCLI to find all SSC application versions that meet specific criteria and then, for example, automatically purge old artifacts, say anything older than three months in both versions. So these kinds of workflows can save you a lot of time and effort and FCLI makes them straightforward to implement. Finally, there's the data export and data mining. So with FCLI, you have access to a wide range of different output formats like table, CSV, JSON, YAML, and more. And this gives you a lot of flexibility for exporting and working with your data. For instance, you can generate a CSV file listing all SSC application versions or FOD releases that match specific filters or 
you can create a JSON file with all vulnerabilities for a given version or release. And FCLI also includes built-in actions for exporting issue data into formats that third-party tools like GitHub, GitLab or Serif reports can use. These actions are defined in YAML files, so you can customize them or even create your own from scratch if you need it. But uh, whenever you're automating tasks, integrating tools or working with data, FCLI is a fantastic tool that makes all of this so much easier. And I also want to give you a short overview about the command structure of FCLI, which is pretty easy to understand and really modular. And uh, the first thing that you can actually see in every command, of course, is FCLI itself. And then you need to enter um, the product. So for example, the SSC or scan central SAST, scan central DAST, FOB, or the inbuilt utilities. Um, so these are the kind of products that you need to enter, um, which is the, the second thing. Then you have the entity, for example, in SSC, the app version that you uh, can use. And after that, you have the verb like list or create, get, these kinds of verbs. And then you have the options, like if you want to output this into a JSON file or JSON format, then you can use um, this at the end. I will also talk a lot more about this in the next video, but I just want to give you a short overview about the the modular command structure. Now, at the end of this video, I just want to highlight that if you want to learn more about FCLI, if you already want to try it out, just visit our GitHub page. Uh, there you can find the latest releases as well as the documentation. You can also find the links down in the video description. And if you have any questions, anything that is unclear, just let us know in the comments and uh, we will see us in the next video. Thank you very much.